Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So you finally decided to address a huge bottleneck in your computer by upgrading to an SSD for your boot drive. But when you finally get up and running, something seems a little off. Maybe your file transfers are slower than you expected. Underwhelming SSD performance could be caused by a somewhat obscure setting in your UEFI BIOS. You see, most modern hard drives or SSDs can be set to operate in either IDE mode or AHCI mode. But what in the heck does that mean? Well, there are multiple ways your system has of talking to drives. IDE, or Parallel ATA, is the standard that was used for a long time, back when we were all using those huge gray ribbon cables to connect hard drives to motherboards. Drives with the newer, smaller SATA, or Serial ATA connectors, that most of us use today can also utilize a newer standard called Advanced Host Controller Interface, or AHCI. AHCI enables cool features like hot swapping, so you don't have to turn off your computer if you want to unplug an external drive from an eSATA port or use that super neato hot swap bay in the top of your case. A less obvious but also important advantage is support for native command queuing, which affects the way that your drives handle multiple requests to fetch data at one time. On hard drives, using NCQ can mean the drive's read and write head doesn't have to move around as much to get a certain piece of information, speeding up your access times. But how does AHCI also help speed up SSDs? Well, although the benefits of NCQ on SSDs are small or negligible for home users, many users do report greatly increased performance, especially for large file transfers in AHCI mode compared to IDE mode, due to AHCI just plain being designed with more modern drives in mind. So then, why would you ever want to use IDE mode? Can we just get rid of that option? Well, if you're running an older operating system, such as Windows XP or earlier, there's a good chance that it won't have native AHCI support, meaning it won't play nicely with your drives if your motherboard is set to AHCI mode unless you do some software trickery when you install the OS. This might also be the case if you're trying to run software from a bootable USB stick or an optical disk. And if you have a boot drive that you've been using in IDE mode, but then switch over to AHCI, you might get a boot error, forcing you to switch back to IDE. Though fortunately, if you're using Windows, there's a registry tweak that you can use to fix this more permanently. If you're interested, we've linked instructions in the video description below. Of course, AHCI isn't the end game for drive protocols, and the sexy new one, NVM Express, is starting to gain popularity. While you won't be able to use it with garden variety SATA drives, it's being implemented in high performance PCI Express SSDs. And since NVMe was designed from the ground up for solid state storage, it can enable speed several times faster than what you'd get with AHCI on a standard SATA interface. So you might want to look into those if you've got some money to burn and milliseconds count when you're trying to frantically open Google Chrome to watch the latest exciting installment of Tech Quickie. Speaking of doing things frantically, do you find yourself racing around trying to get all of your work done and then collapsing exhausted in your computer chair, trying to fight your way through horrible accounting software? Well, if you're a freelancer or a small business owner, FreshBooks is the opportunity for you to start saving your time and being more productive because with their cloud accounting software, you can be more organized and get paid more quickly. Create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. Set up online payments with just a couple of clicks to get paid up to four days faster. See when your client has seen your invoice, putting an end to the guessing games. And best of all, try it all for free for 30 days with an unrestricted trial. Just go to freshbooks.com slash techquickie and enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, leave a comment with suggestions for future videos, subscribe, and don't forget to press the little bell so you get all our notifications. And we will see you again in the next Tech Quickie. Exciting installments coming at you every few days or so.